there folks, this is Josh, Stony Ridge Farmer. Welcome back to another Tool Tuesdays here on the Stony Ridge Farm. We've got a pretty cool tool to show you today. So we're gonna be using this tractor just to get it out of the bushes because it's been laid up in the bushes, but we're gonna work with an aerator today on a three-point hitch on our Massey Ferguson 240 tractor. So come along on Tool Tuesday. We'll talk about aeration, we'll talk about the tool, we'll give you a discount code and we'll have a little bit of fun. All right? Okay. These are a bucket mount pallet fork system right here. There'll be a coupon code in the video description there too. These are also from Titan Attachments. In case you didn't notice, we've got a little deal worked out with Titan Attachments. We'll use their attachments here on the farm and they've agreed to hook us up with coupon codes for everything we use. That's pretty cool for you guys. This is a bucket mount pallet fork. In case you don't want to spend all the money on a dedicated pallet fork for something that you're going to use about twice a year if that there we go there we go see there's a piece of metal right here what we got to do is get out on the end of the fork raise it up get it to the sweet spot come on baby and get it over that little piece of metal so it mounts firmly and we've effectively turned our bucket into a set of pallet forks for temporary. If you load and unload these, a little point, a little tip, don't do it on a hill. <laughs> I just learned that. Set them down in a flat spot. When you get ready to load them and unload them, all you got to do is pull under, lift up, and they're on there. Really quick, really simple, really fun. But this isn't the tool for Tool Tuesday. Dog loves eating deer turds. Look, she's eating deer turds. Stop eating deer turds. Most time when you order something like this online, it comes in in a crate surrounded by a metal box. Uh, hopefully, most time the metal box is bolted together. Hopefully we can just tear right into this one. I'd like to put it together fairly quickly. Oh, and this one looks like it's held together with pins, so that'll be very simple, very easy. Got some scrap angle iron to use for projects. Always make sure we clean up as we go. We don't want to wind up with a piece of wire in uh, a cow's foot or a horse's foot or any other livestock's foot. These little pieces of wire like this can be very dangerous for a animal that has a hoof. All right, I'm not reading instructions just like a normal American male would do, but there's a kickstand that comes with it. I can pretty much see that that's the kickstand. We'll pop out the pin, drop the kickstand in place. That'll make it easier for hookup and detaching later on. And I believe there has got to be a way for me to hook this behind the Ventrac while I'm mowing. So I'm actually doing two tasks at one time. I'm aerating and mowing at the same time, but we'll see. The bolts are already in place here. And basically all we have to do is mount our three point hookup. Now, if you follow the farm vlog, you're getting ready to get a sneak peek at something that hasn't made the vlog yet. I'll do it. Whoa, 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 you didn't. <laughs> That's a secret. Hadn't come out yet. We'll show you in the farm vlogs here in the future. The Massey Ferguson tractor is back here in the tractor shed and it's got the piece of equipment that's the biggest pain in the butt to get on and off of any piece of equipment here on the farm. That broadcast spreader is very difficult to get on and off. It's easy to take off, but it's a pain in the butt to get on by yourself. And it's just me. Massey Ferguson. Sit it 
down in a nice place. We shut the tractor down. For disconnecting our PTO shaft, we want to shut this tractor down. Do not want to endanger myself. PTO shaft will be the first thing we take loose. Guys, it is straight up yellow jacket season here on the farm. If you don't know what yellow jackets are, they're mean little bees that attack you. They're actually wasps, but we call them bees. There may be a nest over here. Might have to move fast. Let go. Please, God. Please let it go. Thank you. Woohoo! Yeah, baby. Now, this implement is not very heavy. I can easily roll it off of its stand that it came on so we don't have to wrestle with this. We'll have to fill this guy with water. I'll show you how it fills with water. It's got to have some weight to it in order to push it in the ground. So a lot of implements are really big and bulky and hard to handle. This thing is going to be super duper easy to hook up and super duper easy to handle. All I got to do is pull my pins. I'm actually going to lift up here, take my kickstand, flip it over or however I need to do that. Actually, the kickstand just slides up and out of place here. And I'll bring it back down and we'll be lined up and just drop a pin into each. Ouch! Steel toes are a must on the farm, <laughs> by the way. <laughs> Come on, baby. There we go. It's so light without any water in it that uh, <laughs> it's wanting to roll back on me. There we go. Okay, so one of the arms on the tractor is fairly stationary. This one is, and the other one floats quite a bit. But I can easily pick this up with one hand and get it into place right where I need it. Drop my pin in. Almost there. There we go. Now we'll drop our pin into our top link. We're ready to rock and roll. fill it with water there's a plug we got to make sure that this plug is up top and we'll fill it up with water basically we just take a, a adjustable wrench and open that up this is a five foot aerator it's not a plugger it's an aerator and it's got three inch tines in it and we'll talk about the benefit of aerating your pastures and your lawn as soon as we fill it with water take our adjustable wrench here and we'll remove the plug very simply there we go it's got a bunch of Teflon tape on it <laughs> from the factory. They must not want any air to get in there. We'll take our standard water hose nozzle and fill it up. All right, so while we've got the hose in here and we're letting things fill up, let's talk to you a little bit about aeration and why we're aerating our pastures and our lawn and pretty much every field on the whole farm. Basically, the soil here on the farm is not soil. It is just hard packed clayish dirt. Here is a perfect example of the soil here on the farm. It rained three quarters of an inch last night. That's hard as a rock. So what we're trying to do here is drive these spikes down into the soil about two and a half to three inches, opening that soil up to absorb moisture so it doesn't roll off down the hill. And if you guys have followed the farm vlog for a long time, you know we have a huge issue with washing. So the first place that we're gonna aerate will be right out here in front of the house because all these little three inch slits in the soil are gonna be places for water to go, for roots to absorb water, and it's gonna help our soil exchange oxygen and carbon dioxide better, thus making our pastures pop. It's gonna be cool. Now, how many rocks are we gonna turn up? We'll probably turn up some rocks as we go. We'll make sure that we're mowed before we go out and we aerate, just in case we turn up some rocks, we don't want to hit those with the bush hog or with the Ventrac over here. And we've been mowing pasture. It's evening time now. I've been out mowing pasture pretty much all day with the Ventrac, with the finish mower on the Ventrac. This year is all about pasture management and pasture growth. We want to have a good set, a good pasture set for our farm animals when we get them. So we don't want to put cows or sheep or goats or whatever critter we decide to get in our new fences. We don't want to put those out on pastures that need a lot of work. We want to put them out on healthy pastures and that's why we're aerating. Cool? <laughs> I think it's full. <laughs> I walked away for a minute. Oh, let's put that in there. There we go. Get her maximum full, as full as we possibly can get it. 
Oh, and it's sinking into the gravel right now. <laughs> this thing's gonna be awesome. It might be, I'm gonna say it weighs probably 250 to 300 pounds, maybe more than that. Now, when we get done with this for the year, we will drain all the water out. Basically, we'll just flip it over and drain all the water out. Pretty simple, pretty cool, fun little tool. talk about what I've learned about this spike aerator okay so it's a five foot spike aerator and it has a three inch tine on it I learned that as I go around a sharp turn I need to raise it up out of the ground or it turns it into a disc harrow <laughs> so it'll tear up your ground pretty bad if you do that now is it hurting it probably not but if you run over it multiple times like we did back here on a spot that wasn't so hot we basically turned it into a disc harrow and you run the risk of bending a tine so the tines will pick up roots and they'll turn up rocks if you've got some rocks down just below the surface you can run this thing at about eight to ten miles an hour so we were in low four but we probably could have ran in high three in other words you can move on with this thing as long as you're getting good penetration down to the drum you're in good shape so i really recommend using this after a rainstorm in other words not after when it's muddy or anything like that but after the rain has softened the ground up and you can use your best judgment on that so that you get the full three inches of penetration and you're opening that soil up and allowing for that oxygen and carbon dioxide exchange and also for water so what we want to do is we want the water to stay where it falls we don't want it to hit the ground and run off down the hill so that's what this thing does it provides little cavities for water to get in, provide water, nutrient, sunshine, and build soil. It's gonna be awesome. Guys, thanks a lot for joining me here on the Stony Ridge Farm. If you wanna follow the vlog and watch this farm grow, I encourage you to pound that like button, pound that subscribe button, and come on back and see us. We got a lot more fun stuff here on the Stony Ridge. Thanks a lot. We'll see you next week. Woo! Well, come on down to the Stony Ridge. Bring your wife and bring your kids. We're living life pure and sweet.